Hello Champagne Dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Miss J, the trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And we are here for another video in my Declutter 2021 series. And today we are going to be decluttering lip products. I love lip products. I think they're a lot of fun. They are such a great little soothe shopping thing. You can easily go pick yourself up a drugstore lippy and just make yourself feel better for the day. I am a fan of emotional shopping. And that has led to me having a whole lot of extra lipsticks and lip products hanging around my office. So if you're excited to see what I decided to declutter in my lip products, then go ahead and stick around. We're getting into it right now. Hello Champagne Dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss J, the trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And we are back with the second half of the Declutter series. So this is the fifth video in this series. Sorry we took a little break, but I actually hadn't done the declutter yet. So in this one we're going to be looking at lip products. So I have two full drawers plus some other random things that are filled with lipsticks. And so I had a lot to go through. Definitely check out the post on JanessaJ.com if you want to see the whole collection and everything that I went through. But these are all of the things that I decluttered. All right, so these are some Too Faced products. These are some of the melted mattes. I do kind of like these, but I don't wear them very often. The colors aren't that adventurous. And the ones that I kept are the wilder, more adventurous colors. So there's this kind of peachy tone. There's this kind of wine color, this bright pink. This one is pretty, but I just don't need it. It's something that's definitely repeated in my collection. And then this kind of more baby pink. And then these are some of the Tutti Frutti glosses. I am so sad that Too Faced discontinued the Tutti Frutti line because I really liked it, but I just don't need these glosses in my collection. Maybe that's why it's gone because clearly I'm not holding on to too many of the Tutti Frutti lip products. Now when it comes to eye products and cheek products it's a different story but um, here are the lip glosses from Too Faced and the liquid lipstick so these are all getting decluttered. All right, and here are a bunch of lip products from Lime Crime. Now, the Lime Crime stick lipsticks, I don't love stick lipsticks, but I really do like their formula. But some of these are getting a little bit old or they're colors I don't really wear. So these are the lip pops. These were kind of fun because you would take the top off. And so if you press the bottom, you can see that it comes out. And then, oh, I've put out too much. You twist it and it goes back in. So those are kind of fun. So this is a red shade. This is the shade Sangria. Lime Crime, every once in a while they do these, like I can't tell what that shade is supposed to be because they printed this and instead of using like a colored ink, they just left the name open and it's this pale green with this peach. Um, but this is kind of a peachy gold sort of color. I think that's kind of fun. I did keep a few of these. I don't really do the blotted lip kind of thing, but there were some kind of fun colors and there's sort of a gold. And then we have this one. This is one of the Pearly's lipsticks as I knock everything all over the place. I loved the Pearly's line. There were like six of these and I'm keeping five of them, but I decided to get rid of this kind of lavender gold shade. Um, this is pretty, but it's just not something I need in my collection. And then we have the unicorn lipsticks. This is No She Didn't. Could I sound any more white than when I was like, No She Didn't. Oh gosh. And this is just really old. This isn't one of the re-release ones. This still has the like silver. That's how I know these are really super old is when they have the silver sticker. Because they did re-release these, um, these unicorn lipsticks, but this is not one of the new ones. This is one of the OG. This is another one of the OG shades. This is New York City. Ha ha ha. Um, and that's a beautiful yellow. This was a lot of fun, but again, this is just getting really old. And another one that I had from the original release of these, this is Great Pink Planet. And this is a pretty pink, but again, it's got the silver label, so I know it's one of the really old ones. And it's just time for these to go. Now these two have colored labels, so I know that they're a little bit newer, but they're still ones that I don't really use that often. So this is soft spot and this is just kind of a nudie color. I tried to limit, I have been playing around with more nude lips but I just have so many of the same kind of nude lips that I was like you know what let's go ahead and declutter this one. And then this shade is Dollhouse. This is pretty but I just don't wear this kind of purple. I prefer purples that are a little bit more blue leaning and so this more 
orchidy, violet, red leaning purple isn't really my jam. And I did keep some of these Lime Crime Unicorn lipsticks because I do like them, but this is a color that I just don't see getting used that often. Alright, so I know it's Pride Month when I'm recording this, and we're at the 10th anniversary of Born This Way, but I'm sorry Lady Gaga, I have to ditch some of my House Labs products. Um, I tried quite a few of their things, I have some reviews on JanessaJ.com, but I didn't really love them, and these glosses especially are not really things that I need to keep. So these were fine, but they're just not that great, and I don't do a lot with glosses. This is kind of a fun bright red, but... I don't, now that I'm looking at that, oh, it is just a red gloss. I don't, this goes back into the maybe pile. <laughs> we'll have to see. It's just not a declutter unless I keep at least one thing, but, um, and then this one is kind of a glittery, it's kind of a cranberry base, but it's not very pigmented, and it's just something I don't need, and you can see it's kind of getting gunked up. Sometimes that happens with glosses. And these are two lip crayons. These are kind of fun, but these colors are kind of nude for me. I did keep the like hot, hot pink one that I ordered, but these two are a little bit more neutral, a little bit more nude. And just this packaging, it's cute. It's an interesting concept, but they roll around. They're hard to store. And so I decided that these two are getting the chop. Bye. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep the red gloss. I kind of love it. All right, so these are some random lip products from black-owned makeup brands. So here are some glosses from Lena Lashes. Now, I love Lena Lashes for lashes, obviously, but these glosses just didn't do it for me. They're a little bit sticky. They did come in some fun colors, but I don't really need them. They're kind of just that kind of private label-y sort of thing. I don't mean to judge, but I'm a judgy bitch. So I am getting rid of these four shades. And then we have some tube lipsticks. So this is from Gold Label Cosmetics. This is a beautiful deep, deep brown color. And this is the shade Dark Children. So I had two that were really dark like this, and one is a deep, deep brown, and one is a deep, deep purple. And that one is called 1978. That's the year I was born. You don't have to do the math. Don't get up in my business. But this is one that I decided I could get rid of this one and I kept the 1978 one. Because they're kind of similar except that this one runs more brown, the other one runs more purple. But they're both just this beautiful, rich, dark lipstick. And then we have this lipstick from the Lip Bar. This is in the shade City Girl. And this is a beautiful kind of orangey, corally pink. And I ordered this one because I thought it was going to be a little bit more coral, a little bit more into that reddish pink, and it's a little too orangey for me. Um, it's pretty, and I do like this formula. I have a couple other lipsticks from the lip bar, and this packaging is gorgeous. But I just know that I'm probably not going to wear this shade, so I decided to pass this along. And then we have a couple of tube lipsticks from Keisha Kaor's brand. Um, this is the shade Jamaica, which you can see is a bright green, and this is a nudie beige shade called Nudie. And these are fine. They're just not great lipsticks. See that? It's kind of sweating a little bit. And I've tried using these a little bit with gloss. And they're just not that great. Especially for what you pay for these. I feel like I bought these in little kits where you got a coordinating glitter. And she tries to pretend like the glitter is this special thing that like goes with these lipsticks especially. And it's just green glitter that matches this lipstick. Like, there was nothing about it that really was kind of set up to be different. So, these are fine lipsticks, but they were just too expensive. They haven't aged very well, so I'm going to go ahead and pass these along. Now, I do have two videos all about black-owned makeup brands that are not Fenty or Pat McGrath. I'll go ahead and link the first one up here in the corner. That's the one that featured K.O.R. Beauty. And there's a second version that I will include down in the description box as well. All right, are, these are some lip products, mostly glosses, but I think maybe one liquid lipstick, maybe two, maybe three, a couple of them, doesn't matter. I don't love the Glam Light liquid lipsticks or lip glosses. They're okay, they're just not great. They don't blow me away. And I have so many good options that when you have something that comes in this kind of awkward triangular packaging that's hard to store, I just can clear it out. I'm not that impressed with it. It's fine, it's not terrible. I did keep a couple, and like this is really pretty. This is kind of a peach with like a purpley kind of reflect. These are fine, but they're just not blowing me away. And again, we're trying to declutter. Now I did recently rank all of my Glam Light palettes. I'll go ahead and link that up in the card so you can take a look at that. I love the Glam Light eyeshadow formula, but 
I am not as crazy about the lip products, so these are all gonna go. All right, let's just get into it. Let's bait the trolls, whatever. Let's take a look at some Jeffree Star products that I am decluttering out of my collection. Now, there are a lot of things that I do like from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but he is sort of a gross figure in the world. Now, I have all kinds of thoughts about him and his behavior, how he has changed, whether he's changed, all that kind of shit. Not the place to get into it here. Let's talk about what I'm getting rid of. Now, the original bullet lipsticks were fine, but again, they're not great, and I'm ready to clear out and get some new things. I got rid of quite a few of my lip ammunition bullet lipsticks. So this is Celebrity Skin. Again, it's that same sort of nude brown sort of color. I've got so many of these. This is X Supermodel. This is a pretty dusty pink, but it just doesn't need to be in my collection. It's not that special. This is the shade Jeffrey's Girl, and this is a brighter, a little bit more Barbie pink. I do like this, but again, I've got so many pink lipsticks, and these ammunition are getting a little bit old at this point so it's time for it to go. This is the shade Ice Cream Boulevard and as you can probably see maybe see I actually broke this apart so it's a pretty bright pink but it's a little bit light for me and I already damaged it so I was like you know what let's go ahead and just get rid of that that'll probably go in the trash because it's had a rough time poor thing. And then we have this lavender shade Popsicle Dream. I keep trying to convince myself that I can and should wear purple lavender lipstick. I don't know why. I don't really love it. And when I do, I like to wear kind of an ombre with a darker purple. So I don't know. This is fine, but it just doesn't need to be in my collection. And the last lipstick from his initial launch of these, this is Unicorn Blood. This is just a deep red. It's fine, but I have a ton of red lipsticks. And this kind of red, this very deep wine burgundy kind of red not really the type of red i go for i'm a t swift bright red lipstick all day long now to get into some of the shades from special collections this is birkin suede this was from a summer collection a few years ago this is so yellow this is yellow as fuck i just it's too yellowy for me it needs to go now this is the shade Red Rum. This is a beautiful red. I do like this, but again, I'm trying to thin out my lipstick herd. And when I look for red lipsticks, I've got so many good options. This is kind of similar to Viva Glam from MAC, and I'm much more likely to pull that out than to pull this out. So I decided that Red Rum, even though this bullet is probably my favorite of the bullets with the pink glitter, I was like, it's time for this one to move on. This was from the Summer Collection where he did a bunch of those like glitter lipsticks that don't really have much base pigment. This is the shade Brown Sugar. I am fairly certain I got this in a mystery box. I don't think I bought any of these lipsticks. I might have bought one, the green one. But I think all the other ones that I have I got from mystery boxes. And this one, I just don't do a lot of bronzy glitter. If I'm going to do goldish colors, I do more yellow gold than this more bronzy gold. So this one can go. And this is the shade Sinister. These were from a Valentine's collection a few years ago. And this purple, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. I just look at it and I'm not inspired. It's a little bit too reddish toned purple. And again, I don't love this formula. It's fine, but it's time for this to go. And of course, the shade Androgyny. I'm wondering if I got this in a mystery box. I don't like this as a liquid lipstick. I don't know why I would have bought it. I mean, I buy a lot of shit that I probably shouldn't, so who knows, but I just don't. I don't like this. I don't need it. It's just not necessary. Please excuse my cheap ass jewelry turning my skin green. We see it. We acknowledge it. We don't have to talk about it. I've also got four of these lip scrubs, and these are just getting old. I do generally like his lip scrubs, but these are ones I don't like as much, or they're getting a little bit older. The Rainbow Sherbet was okay. It was kind of an odd flavor. And then the Cucumber Mint I got in a mystery box, that one's not good. It's sort of like, I think it's supposed to be like a mojito, maybe, but it's just kind of like a salad, but not a good salad. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not great. Um, the Chocolate Covered Strawberry... I, it should work, but it doesn't. And then the pancakes and syrup, that one was all right, but that's gotten fairly old. These are all getting fairly old, and so I'm just going to get rid of them. I'm going to take the labels off, and I'm going to um, keep these little jars because they're useful for organizing little beads and things, but I'm done with these scrubs. 
And I don't have a ton of Jeffree Star lip products here in the office besides the lipsticks. The liquid lipsticks, because I use those fairly often for my show makeup, those are all at home. But like this one I got in a mystery box. This is the shade... What is that? Christmas cookie? It's just kind of a nudie pink. Boring. This was from the Morphe collab. Most of these were in with the Morphe declutter that I did. And then these two are from the green lip set. I did order the green lip set because we know I'm obsessed with green. These are not green though, so I decided to get rid of these two. I did keep the other little minis. I don't love the minis from him that much because they do tend to dry out very quickly. Um, and these colors are unique to that box or whatever, but I just, I like that. That's in a baby's diaper. I don't need that on my mouth ever. I just don't. And rounding out my products from Jefferson Starship, Jalopity Staircase, whatever you want to call them, Lord Voldemort. Um, I do have six of the 10 shades that I bought of the Supreme Gloss. I did not like this gloss. I thought it was terrible. I did not love this weird applicator, this like tulip shaped applicator. I didn't love it. It was not great. And so I am getting rid of a lot of these. I kept a few of the kind of weird shades, like the black and the yellow, just to play around with a little bit more. But these are going to go, and I can't imagine that those other ones, unless I find some magical way to use them, they probably won't survive the next declutter. Here are some products from Gerard Cosmetics. They had a big sale last summer. I don't know if they did it again this summer or if they will do it this summer. Um, and I just ordered a bunch of stuff just to try it and see how it was. This is like a lip gloss. This is a lip cream. These two are matte liquid lipsticks and a metallic and then a stick lipstick. Now I have quite a few other ones that I did keep, especially like some glitter lipsticks that were really nice. Um, but this red one is definitely a repeat of my collection. I really did like their metallic but this color was just a little off. These were just a little too neutral for me. And the lip cream lip glosses I wasn't thrilled with, so I decided to get rid of those. But these are the Gerard Cosmetics products that I am getting rid of. If you want to see all of the other products that I have from Gerard Cosmetics, make sure you check out JanessaJ.com and check out the post. Now here are some liquid lipsticks from Ofra. I do sort of like the Ofra liquid lipstick. It's definitely not one of my favorite formulas, but I do really like the collab that Jen Love did with them. And I know they're kind of in hot water now, and so I don't know that I'll be using them much on my channel or on my website, but I do like those products that Jen did. And these were just some sort of oddball colors that I just decided I didn't need. Um, I got the Nikki Tutorials collab, which is these two shades, and then another one, on the cheap. I got it super cheap on sale. I kept the other one that was kind of a bright pinky orange like metallic-y sort of shade but these two this is Coven and this is Nude Potion. These can go and then this is Cancun and I think I got this free when I ordered Jen's collab. They sent you a free lipstick. It was like National Lipstick Day when it launched and I just don't need that color. Even though I could mix it with her collab, that's the point, but I just don't need it. So these are the ones that are going from Ofra. Here are some lip products from the Collective Cosmetics. This is a red shimmery kind of metallic gloss. And these are two liquid lipsticks, um, Stolen Moment. And then this one didn't have the name on it. It was from the first box that I got in January. But you can see these are a little bit more neutrally kind of grungy shades. And I don't really need them. For the collective, their subscription box, I'm in it for the eyeshadows and the highlighters. That's what does it for me. These kind of grayy nudes are just not things that I really use that often. So I decided I'm going to pass these along to somebody else who can get some use out of them. And I don't, I'm tempted by this one, but I don't love really kind of thick glosses. And so I don't use a lot of gloss, but I don't, I don't know. This might go in the maybe pile. I don't know. I'm just going to say I'm going to get rid of it, but don't be surprised if it pops up later. Don't judge me. All right. These are some one-offs from indie brands. So these are some different indie brands and I like a lot of their stuff and I have quite a few of them, but I decided to just get rid of a color, um, one color from the line that I had. This is Red Hot Red from Besame Cosmetics. I love that they're doing these vintage retro sort of colors that they have. This is really fun, but I don't know. I've had this for a while and this lipstick, to be honest, has not aged super well. So I am going to probably end up throwing this one away because it's got kind of a weird smell to it. 
Then we have the Glam Vice Glazed Lips in the shade Goddess. This is a pretty pink gloss. I don't love their glosses. I like their liquid lipsticks a little bit better. Um, these are fine, but it's just not something that I need. I've got so many bright pink glosses, and since it's not my favorite formula, I decided this one could go. Especially since I was keeping all of the liquid lipsticks. This is the shade Lucky from Carity. This is kind of a 90s raspberry sort of shade, and I did keep several other shades that came out at the same time as the Come As You Are palette, which was sort of the 90s throwback palette. But this one, again, similar story that you've heard before. This is that kind of raspberry, purpley pink. It's a very red-leaning kind of purple. Just doesn't need to be in my collection. This is Never Dull. This is from Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow. This is fine. It's just kind of a sheer glittery gloss, and I don't really need it. I've got so many sheer glittery glosses, and there's something about this component that I just don't like. I don't know why. I just don't. This is a liquid lipstick from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. They are delightful, and I do love their stuff, but this bright pink... I just don't need it. I've got a lot of bright pinks, and this formula is not my favorite for liquid lipsticks. It doesn't really dry all the way down. It's not transfer proof. And so for a bright pink like that, I just want something a little bit more show friendly. And then this is becoming a familiar refrain. This is from Ferocious Beauty Cosmetics. And this is just kind of that red leaning purple again. It's just not a color that I use very often. And so this was beautiful, but I just didn't need it. And then we have Peach Kiss from OMFG Cosmetics. This is just such a neutral shade. I've never even used this. This is untouched. This came in a mystery box. I'm just going to pass it along. Obviously, I haven't even wanted to swatch it, wanted to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to somebody who will appreciate this neutral goodness. All right, then we have some lip products from just random kind of prestige brands. This is from MAC. This is one of the Patrick Star collab glosses. This is beautiful, and I do love this packaging, but it's very sheer. I mean, these pink glosses, this color from MAC, they always call it something different, but this hot pink with kind of a blue shift, they've done that gloss a million times, and it's always way too sheer. It's never glittery enough, and so I love the idea of this, and, you know, the packaging is beautiful, but I'm going to pass this along. Then we have this Laura Lorac um, gloss. Remember when Lorac was in Sephora? That's how long ago I bought this. So this is getting old. I had two of these. I think I kept the other one. I probably should get rid of that one too. But it's just, it's a pretty iridescent-y kind of gloss. But I just, I don't know. I never use these and I probably should throw it out. I probably should throw the other one out, but we'll see. Then we have the shade Crush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora. And that's true of this one by Melt. This is in the shade Rebound. I got two of this one, so I decided to pass one of them along. I'm gonna keep the other one and play with it a little bit. And then this is a gloss. Oh, and then this is a deluxe sample size gloss from Smashbox, this beautiful red. The sticker is missing, so I don't know what that one's called. But these are just deluxe samples from Sephora. Oh, and then a little baby one from Smashbox. Cute, but not cute enough to stay. And then two lipsticks from the Sephora collection. I loved when Sephora used to do the Pantone Color of the Year collection. This is when it was Rose Quartz and something else. What does it say on here? This is called Serenity. And maybe that was the color, but I thought it had a different name. I don't know, but this was from like one of the last collections they ever did. And it's a pretty blue, but I just don't ever use it. And then I do love their lipstick stories. I have a ton of them, but I decided to get rid of this one. And this is just because it's a red cream lipstick. I have so many red lipsticks. I probably should get rid of more than I am, but the fact that I'm getting rid of as many as I am, I feel like I'm being brave. So this one is gonna go to. And now we have a bunch of drugstore priced options. I do love to play around with drugstore lipsticks, but I get too many of them and I don't love a lot of the formulas. So these are a couple of glosses from Catrice. I love the idea of these because they're so fun and like the color combinations are really beautiful, but they just kind of sheer out and are just lightly glittery on the lips. Um, and so I just don't need them in my collection. And then we've got a couple liquid lipsticks from BH Cosmetics and then a couple lipsticks. And again, you'll notice a trend. There's a lot of red. And I got these in a collection and they're fine, but I just don't need them. How many red lipsticks do I need? 
This is another one in kind of that purpley sort of color that I don't use. This I think I got as a gift with something, but I just don't need it. Sorry if none of this is in focus. I really am trying, but hopefully you can compare this to the post on Janessa J if you have any questions. Now these are liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. I hate these. I hate these so much. These are such a terrible formula, and the metallic are even worse, which hurts my heart because look at some of these beautiful colors. I mean, how could you not want to put that on your lips? But it's so sheer and streaky and gross. And I just, I don't know how I've ended up with so many of them, but I just hate them. And then I have a bunch of these LA colors. These are really fairly good. These are just kind of oddball colors. Again, this is a theme. You'll notice I'm getting rid of a lot of red lipsticks. I'm getting rid of a lot of these purple lipsticks and a lot of kind of nude lipsticks. And this is too orangey. I wanted it to be more peach, like pastel peach. It was very orange, very terracotta. This is just a little too nude, neutrally for me. And then that same purple. And then there was a remover. These were great. I got a bunch of these when I was on a work trip to Seattle and it was a way to like get new content and try new things on the cheap. These were at Daiso for like $1.50. I just, they were fun to play with, but it's time for them to go. And then this is a red lipstick from Model Zone. I don't know what the deal is with Model Zone. I've tried a few things from them and they've mostly disappeared the last time I was in Ulta, but they had some okay stuff. This was a nice enough red lipstick, but it's just too repetitive for my collection. This next little section is gonna hurt my heart a little bit because I love Urban Decay. I am an old school Urban Decay lover and I'm sad that their stuff is not as good as it used to be. So I'm getting rid of a lot of Urban Decay. I still have a lot left over, but that's my life. These are some liquid lipsticks. I do not like their Vice liquid lipsticks at all. This just was not a great formula. This was kind of an interesting gray color from the Kristen Leanne collab. And this color I love, and this red is right up my alley, but they just are not that great. I don't love them. I just wanted it to be better. And here we have a ton of lipstick. Now these, um, I don't know if these, I know I have bad blood in here, but I don't know if these were called Bad Blood Lipsticks, I can't remember, but these, this style of lipstick, I know I got all of these at the Nordstrom Rack. I was obsessed when I was on work trips to Phoenix and to Seattle to scour all of the Nordstrom Racks that I could find and buy up a ton of old makeup. I don't know why. This one, again, barely used. This is in the shade F-Bomb. Urban Decay does have beautiful red lipsticks, but how many red lipsticks does a bitch need? I'm still trying to figure that question out. This is the shade Catfight, which is a pretty pink, but again, it's a little too much in that raspberry purple vein. And then we have Menace, which is a pretty beautiful bright pink. <sighs> now I'm rethinking this one. No, we're gonna stay strong. So, let's see. That is pretty. I have so many pinks like this. This is gonna go. It's gotta go. And now we get into the Vice lipsticks. These are beautiful. This is a great formula and they have lots of great finishes. These are a couple of special edition ones. This is from the Kristen Leanne collection and it's called Cloud Nine. But again, we've talked about the fact that I don't wear a lot of purple lipstick. This is a little closer to the type of purple that I like because it's a little bit more blue toned, but just not exactly what I need. And then this one is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is Erasabeth. Again, a red lipstick. I've got so many red lipsticks, I cannot. <sighs> Taylor Swift who? I've got all the red lipstick. This is a bright electric pink shade called Caliente. I think this was on clearance and I bought this and it is beautiful, it's a cream, but I haven't even touched it and I like it, but I don't love it. For this kind of pink, I'm gonna go with a liquid lipstick. That's just how I roll. And then here's the shade Bad Blood. This is a deep red. I thought I had the other formula of that in the longer tube, but here's Bad Blood. This I know was from the Nordstrom Rack. This is in a lip kit, but it's really pretty. But again, another red. Too many reds. This is the shade Ex-Girlfriend. This was 100% at the Nordstrom Rack. It's that same kind of nudie, a little bit pinkish sort of color, and it's just too repetitive. Same with 1993. Yes, I'm trying to recapture my high school days. It's just not gonna happen. Let it go. And back talk. I found this at the Nordstrom Rack. The only reason why I bought this is because I also bought that back talk palette, and I had this idea to do this whole back talk look. 
using the lipstick and the liquid lipstick and the palette and it was just a whole thing and I never got around to doing it so here it goes and then we have the shade Firebird which is a lot of fun I know this looks like just a purple this does have a fun blue shift to it but it just is something that I don't really reach for and I know some people who love bright colorful fun lipsticks who will adore this so this is the Vice Lipstick Palette. I did buy both of the palettes that they put out. Um, this one I think I got on clearance or I got it at the rack um, because this is the one that didn't have the fun green color in it. And you know what? I've never touched it. You can see it's starting to sweat a little bit on top. This is probably getting a little bit old, so this should probably leave my collection. I'm gonna see, it still smells fine. I don't think it's gone bad. I don't think it's like toxic or anything, but I will probably see if anybody wants it. And if not, I might just throw it away because it is getting a little bit old and it has that troubling condensation on it but I'm gonna keep that brush I do like the Urban Decay brushes all right and now it's time for our little in memoriam segment these are some brands that are no longer around starting with Tyra Beauty I know I know cue the MLM rage but I was a Tyra Beauty tainer and like this metallic pink I love this I'm getting rid of this one because I have another one and I just don't need like two or three of these. I think I have one at home and then I have one here in the office and this was a third. So I was like, you know what, this one can go and I might even get rid of the one at home, but it's a beautiful color. It's very soft, it's very creamy. And so you can see it's kind of a mess, but it's beautiful. And then these lipsticks were much less impressive. They were a little bit more muted. There's a red, there's that kind of corally peach. There's a purple. I did keep the bright electric pink. I think it's called High Felicia, but these three can go. Tyra Beauty, it was fun while it lasted, but it's probably fine that it died away. It was a sketchy MLM, even sketchier than most. And then we have three little glosses from the Lipstick Apocalypse. I don't know what happened to them. I think they might be trying to like reformulate and rebrand and stuff like that, but these were fun. Um, I think I ordered um, these two and I think this was a free gift. These are lovely. It was really wonderful of Nicole to send these and I loved her stuff, but she seems to have disappeared. So let's hope she comes back bigger and better. And finally, the last of my in memoriam goes to OCC, the Lip Tars. I loved OCC. I somewhere, I couldn't even find that bag. All I could find, these are the ready to wear. This was what they started doing right before they like closed down. Um, because the other ones were much more like pro formula. You had to apply them with a little brush and it was so easy to overdo it. So then they put them into these ready to wear where you could just apply it straight out of the tube. And you can see these are starting to separate. I just loved these so much and I was so sad when they disappeared. So I did keep a few shades for like old times sake. Um, but most of my OCC lip tars, these are quite a few years old. So it's really time for these to go. Now, in one of my lip drawers, I had some random eye products that were just kind of an overflow, so I decided to go ahead and keep them in this video. So first up, we've got some liquid eyeshadows. These are three from the Tutti Frutti collection by Too Faced. These are from Urban Decay, The Moon Dust, and then Sandwiched right here in the middle. This is from Wet n Wild. I just, I keep trying liquid eyeshadows. I don't like them. And so I decided to get rid of these. Most of these are fairly old. The Moon Dust I know are a few years old and they're getting kind of clumpy. And I just don't use them. I don't love them so they can go. And then we have a couple little palettes from Almay. I had like four of these little mini palettes that have the four little shades together. I kept two of them. I had a green one and kind of a peachy orange, but this blue one, and then this looks exactly like a highlighter that I have for MAC. And I'm never gonna reach for Almay over MAC. It's just not gonna happen. That's not my life. So these, it's time for them to go. And then we have a couple of loose pigments from the Lipstick Apocalypse and one from the sort of Game of Thrones ripoff collection from Wet n Wild. I just don't use a lot of loose pigments and these colors just didn't really spark joy. They didn't convince me that I needed to keep them, so these are gonna go as well. And then I have three mascaras that are way outdated. These just need to be thrown because they are old. The Beauty Bakery Eyelash Icing, the Essence Lash Princess. I really do like this. This one is fine. I think it's too expensive for what you get. This one I really did like. And then the Perversion by Urban Decay. This little sample is completely dried out. And the last thing in that drawer was this little blue eyeliner. 
blue milk. So you can see that it's separated and gross. They haven't used this sort of packaging for years. This is ancient. This has got to be at least 10 years old because I know I ordered this when I lived in my old house and I moved like eight years ago. So this is about a decade or more old and it's a beautiful color, but it's just old. It's just been hanging around for sentimental value and it's time for it to go. All right, that is the end of the Lip Products Declutter. Again, check out the post on JanessaJ.com if you want to see the whole collection. And thank you very much for watching. All right, that is the video. Those are my lip products that I am decluttering. Don't forget there is a full related post over on JanessaJ.com if you want to see all of the products that I was looking at in my collection. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or you can give it a thumbs down. I'll take the engagement either way. The algorithm isn't a picky bitch and neither am I. Check my grinder. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I upload at least one video a week and sometimes, if you're lucky, I have a bonus video for you. If you'd like to chat, banter, or commiserate between uploads, all of my social media will be linked down in the description box below, including a link to my website, The World of Champagne, at JanessaJ.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you. I love hearing from you. I hope you're enjoying the declutter. And until I see you again, bye.